I don't know what came first, but that's a Ferrero Rocher. Good morning from beautiful Perugia, Italy. Yesterday we caught a 45 minute train to take us from Camuccia all the way here to the capital of Umbria. To place that in your mind, it's the town right next to Tuscany, or the area right next to Tuscany. Basically the only reason we came to Perugia is because we have a cheap flight heading further south into the boot of Italy tomorrow. But from what we've seen online, this isn't a bad place to have a quick layover. of our limited time here in Perugia so we tried to book onto like a sightseeing tour unfortunately they were all booked out but the amazing host of the tour Susan gave us a list of what we should do while we're here so today we're just following her instructions we get to try some chocolate have some nice alcoholic drinks and gelato, and gelato. <laughs> One of the sites on this list was this National Galleria. It's pretty much the art capital of Umbria here in Perugia. It looked really cool inside, but it was 10 euro. So I'd rather spend that money on the gelato we mentioned earlier. It's a bit rainy and yucky. But that's okay. Now we've got our first kind of food stop of the day. Perugia is also called the city of chocolate. And when I first heard that, I was expecting like Willy Wonka in a city. But when we got here and the fountains were not made of chocolate, I did a bit of research and I realized that there is a story that goes back to the twenties of a woman who invented effectively the kiss type of chocolate. They call it something in Italian here. So it's the Italian kiss. And it's like a hazelnut chocolate with a hazelnut inside the chocolate too super famous and it spawned just a massive chocolate industry here and now we're literally standing in a square and there is five chocolate shops around here and three of them are the same company and that company is the one that does the mass produced chocolate that's not supposed to be as good what we're going for is the artisanal chocolate and was specifically recommended by Susan the local here oh, it's pretty inside they've got a painted roof like the cathedral Super popular. This has been churning out orders and people the whole time we've been in town. It's a pretty intense shop. There's one lady serving like 50 people, so we haven't ordered any actual chocolates, but we did get a hot chocolate, so that's something. Yeah, it was very go go go. What do you want, hot chocolate? Okay, I'll bring it to you. And she will. And we didn't even see the chocolates on the way in, but we've come to this back room and we found them. <laughs> and they look amazing. Thank you. Wow! Oh my god. This isn't a hot chocolate. That is a cup full of melted chocolate. Look at that. Oh, it 
so hot. It's literally a cup full of melted chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Ooh. I don't know what came first, but that's a Ferrero Rocher. Uh -huh. mm. I feel like the hot chocolate we had was so rich that this is kind of, I don't know, <laughs> overkill. Oh, it's good. Yes, Ferrero Rocher. It's a Ferrero Rocher. Mm. It's a Ferrero Rocher. Mm. Next is like some spice shop, which Susan says is like stepping back in time. I don't think we're in the market for spice. We're not probably going to use it if we buy any, but worth checking out. If Susan recommends it. Susan lost us a bit on that one. Pretty cool because he's got all the old jars of spices and stuff, but a bit small and we can't really buy like a massive bag of spices. <laughs> it's not one, it's the other. Wrong. <laughs> I'll push if I want to push. I will push if I want to push! I hate doors! Something I love about this city is wherever you are on like the corners of the top of the hill, they have these spaces that's specifically designed to look have lookouts. And it just really gives you the scale of the city. It's monstrous. Like I mean it's the capital of this region, but it's huge. So misty. This place is just as hilly as Cortona and it's getting to about lunchtime so we've absolutely worked up our appetite and we found a pizzeria that is really high rated and also has like blog posts about it so definitely go on there. This wasn't on the list but when we saw the photos of the pizza we had to add it. <laughs> This looks amazing. It's like proper wood fire pizza. I'm so excited. 
That was amazing. Could have very easily finished it, but we've got to save room for gelato. <laughs> Which is the best? Pinot and chocolate, the kinder, the pistachios also. Oh, kinder. Okay, right. choice. Amazing. I don't think anything can beat Italian gelato. That place was specifically recommended by Susan and the next place we're going to go get a cocktail at the best cocktail bar in Perugia. Ooh. Wow. Thank hey. you. You're welcome. You Susan outdid herself on this place because the bartender, we just told him what we like. And I have a grapefruit rosemary gin fizzy drink which sounds amazing. That's perfect. <laughs> I got a whiskey, lemon, ginger thing with thank you with smoky whiskey. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's really good. So this is the first time ever in Italy we've taken part in having an aperitivo, which is a cocktail between sort of work time and dinner, and it comes with a salty snack. That was so nice. I love that the cool experience just being like, I want something citrusy and sweet, and he nailed the drink. I loved it. The hot chocolates were a bit too much, so we ordered a cappuccino and poured it into each to make a mocha. Could have just ordered that to start with, but we didn't know. <laughs>